Hey everybody, NecroVMX here with a very rare Japanese Castlevania game, Akumado Dracula, which is means the same as the first game, Castlevania, only it's on a system called the Sharp X68000. An amazing system that only ever came out in Japan, so of course this game was a Japan Japanese only release. Give you a little bit of history lesson if you're not familiar with the X68000. It was released in Japan. It was a computing system uh, mainly mainly made to create arcade ports. Sort of similar to the Amiga in terms of quality and uh, how it runs and everything. Only it's it's better than the Amiga, that's for damn sure. It's really good arcade ports and an absolutely amazing Castlevania game. Now there really wasn't any interest in this country or any knowledge at all of the X68000 until about 2000, 2001. And I remember this vividly. Somebody online, uh talked about the law they made an article about the lost castlevania game on their website and uh featured some screenshots as well as details about this mythical castlevania game released for a japanese system we never even heard of so what happened is uh the emulation community heard about this and uh, immediately there was a mad rush to get a working x68000 emulator coming out Mostly to play this game, although there was a brief craze to play um, ooh, other games, but mostly it was this game. Yeah, look at this. This first level is very similar to the first level of Castlevania, but past this it actually gets uh, a lot different. The graphics are absolutely amazing. Like, and there's all the little details that, like, right there, the bat flew in the window from the background, turned around, and attacked me. Happens a couple of times. I gotta go up here. This first level has remained pretty faithful, though there's some surprises. I'll show you one actually coming up here. <laughs> um, this did eventually make its way to America for the PlayStation, Castlevania Chronicles, which has a, a regular original version and an arranged mode. The original version is a direct port. Like here, if, you, <laughs> if you're looking for life there, you get flea men instead. Well, let me just go down here. just wanted to show you that. Here's the part with the merman. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah. But the, the controls in this are really good. The graphics, as you can see, are really good. So, I mean, if you can get, you know, your X68000 emulator running, I'm using an emulator called Win X, Win X68K High Speed, and I'm using an English version of it. I could go down there. It was a secret, but I'm not going to bother. It's worth it to check this game out. It's a bitch to get the emulator running, but... Ooh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I don't need a heart. And this... You know, it's easier than paying $40 to some schmuck on eBay to play, uh... To get the PlayStation version. Definitely worth it. Checking this out. Yeah! Ooh. So, obviously, I'm playing as Simons. This is another remake of the first game. This is the last remake for quite some... Actually, it was the last remake, because... Chronicles is just a port of this. So there you have it. Oh, I don't really need to go up there. Pretty cool game. Ooh, that's exactly what I needed, an axe. Very interesting version of the Phantom Bat coming up right here. I believe there's a double trouble there. Yeah, there is. Alright, come here. And what it does, you want to like, move! Oh, didn't work too well. Ah. There we go. Die. Very interesting phantom bat here. Die, motherfucker. Yeah. Absolutely amazing game, all things considered. I wanted to bring up something um, about requests. Look, guys, I already mentioned this in a previous video, but all of the systems that I currently take requests for are listed on my page. So please don't request something else just because I've done a video. Like, um, you know, I, I mentioned that I got requests for a couple of N64 and Jaguar games. I don't. 
take requests. I may do, and I will be doing a couple of N64 games, but I will not take requests unless it's on my page, because I won't necessarily have the games. You know what I'm saying? So, there's that. Yeah. This is a very... I love the, the music in the stage. It's fucking rocking. Ooh. Dan, 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 dan. So, you know, I, I mean, somebody said, no, now that you're doing arcade games, could you do, uh, I think they asked for Battletoads for arcade. And, you know, I, just because I did Haunted Castle does not mean I'm doing arcade games. And I will not take requests for X68000 or TurboGrafx-16, because that's the next one I'm doing here for Castlevania. I may, in the future, take requests for these systems, but as of right now, no. So I have to have the game to do the request, so... That's the end-all rule. I actually did a version of this video earlier, and I'm, I'm redoing it now because uh, it came out so fucked up. Hypercam did not want to play nice. Actually, it's FFD Show didn't want to play nice with uh, this emulator. So I'm not... I'm actually uh, recording this with no compression right now, which means I'm going to have like a 20 gig file on my hands. Come on. I know you're there, yeah. But, you know, it'll be compressed for YouTube. I wonder if we'll be able to get to the boss in this stage. I wasn't able to last time. But I was close. There's a cool secret right around here, but I'm just going to skip past it. It's up there. you got to fight that white dragon. New, 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 new. Ooh, almost forgot to jump there. I tell you, X68000 uh, emulation has come a really long... Oh, I gotta do this. A really long way since I last played uh, an X68000 game. Gotta be careful here. A lot of crazy shit going on. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. Well. Uh-oh, uh-oh, dude! Shit. That was rough. Eat it. Yeah, this is, this is a rough part. Oh. Oh, dude, dude, dude. I gotta remember to jump. Or use my whip. Oh. Oh, dude, dude. So uncool. Oh, don't jump on there. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on, come on, come on. Yo! Coming up on the boss here. Too bad I don't have my axe anymore. Uh, this guy's awesome. I remember him. Watch out. Trick is to stay fairly close to him. That way, if he does hit you, you don't get knocked off the thing. He goes down pretty quickly. Kind of like a Vietnamese whore. Yeah. The emulator did skip a couple of times and some windows popped up in the background, so hopefully my audio and my video didn't get too desynced. But, honestly, I'm not too worried about it because this is such a pain in the ass to record. Here's level three. I'm only going to be sure able to show you a little bit of this. Pretty cool game. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the Haunted Castle level. <laughs> Reminds me of Haunted Castle. I remember these guys. Oh, I got a duck when you hit them. And you got to hit them underneath. Yeah. It's pretty 
pretty cool stuff here. Do 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 do. Watch out, flea man. I'll take that. Ah, bloody hell, and bloody tears. Suck my dick, I'm a shark. Suck my dick, I'm a shark. Suck my dick, I'm a shark. Suck my dick. Didn't. I should go back for that, but. Well, you know what? I'm at like ten and a half minutes here, and uh, <laughs> I've shown you enough to be honest. This part is really rough. So uh, that's uh, that's the Castlevania game for uh, X68000. I'm gonna stop playing here, and I'll see you next.